Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday, April 27th, GDP today. Unemployment claims. Um, also pending home sales. Uh, nothing really going on in Europe. Let's take a look at what's going on. Yesterday we talked about being long euro, which worked out. Also being short dollar CAD. Uh, which didn't really work out. I mean, it was no, we talked about selling it between 30 and 50. 51 was the high, but it hasn't really done anything. It's just been kind of bid. Um, obviously, oil did a dance yesterday. 78 and change down to 75. Mumble, gap fill back up to 77.50, closing at 74. Um, so here's the dance, right? Down to 75.65, back up to 77.20. And then the 77.20, it was EIA, um, and it was a big draw. Um, and so that was a natural float up, and then it looks like everyone just got caught long. Like we had the gap fill close, and then bullish um, numbers storage numbers and then boom just smoke show crazy uh so dollar can and i really just didn't do anything we're, we're basically right where we started i mean yesterday we were at 136.32 but you can see what we're doing here um we just think this is natural resistance here based on this breakdown area here um those of you who have been listening will know and remember this 136.50 area it was a bit of the bane of our existence on the way down right this day um, 30 given 138.04 paid and then the next day 30 given never saw it again all the way down 300 points um, this congested area is just going to be also congested now um, so, is this going to turn? I don't know. We need a big dollar uh, sell-off. Um, could that happen today? Sure. Uh, GDP is expected at plus 2%. Um, if that's a beat, dollar goes higher. Uh, if that's a miss, dollar goes lower. Uh, but the problem with dollar CAD, if that's a miss and crude goes lower and dollar goes lower, dollar CAD could just do its own dance. So, we're going to leave Dark Cat alone today. Um, still do like picking up cheap ones in Euro. Nothing cheap around one, one ten fifty. The two charts I want to bring up today are Dollar Swiss. I know. This thing's fucking insane. Um, triple time. You know, three times down, 88.60. 53 the low. Uh, yesterday at the fix or pre-fix there was that weird move um, I don't really know what the fuck that was but anyone who left the 59 stop got done shot all the way back up and now we have this kind of bull bear horizontal here um, 89.30 I know the market's still long dollar Swiss but they've been long dollar Swiss for a month now and so this doesn't mean the dollar Swiss can't go up. It just means it's going to be harder for it to go up and it needs a story. Well, turns out we have a story um, today and tomorrow, right? You have GDP today and then tomorrow you have um, core PCE and, and ECI. So those are the inflationary, uh, inflationary stuff. So... Um, we're just keeping an eye on this 8930. Euro Swiss, which now is looks bid. We talked about it yesterday, how it was just like dick in a box down at 65. Is it gonna fully bullish engulf? We said it jokingly, but of course it did. Um, now ninety eight fifty is also a level. And when Euro Swiss and Dollar Swiss <coughs> have these same sort of patterns, it's just, you know. You have to watch them both, and you can't really break trade Euro Swiss and Dollar Swiss um, just because they don't 
they don't collaborate with that kind of trading but you just have to take a look at this and say hmm what's going on what's happening here um, euro swiss is on solid footing god knows why dollar swiss feels like it wants to turn so if you look at the dollar swiss price action all the way down it just couldn't get out of its own way it's like shit it's offered shit it's offered shit it's offered it just goes down so easy since about last friday or <clears throat> this monday there's been some of these bullish jags right this move here from 60 uh, up to 20 this this bar here this is like it's trying to get out of its own way it's like uh I've fallen, but I can't get up. Actually, someone gave me some human growth hormone, and now that I'm getting the fuck up, I'm resurrecting. It's like the resurrection of of the Swiss gnome. Um, who knows? But we're watching this. We're curious about it. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens. The other thing we're watching here is Aussie. Um, we're going to take a little bit of a little bit of a break trade here 6618 uh, feels like this might turn we need risk on for this so are we gonna get risk on in Europe I doubt that it should be just a quiet session um, but Aussie above 18 is just a cheeky little cheeky little trade are we gonna can we float up to 60 you know 60 or 80 I don't think Aussie's going to change its direction but I do feel like it's it's um, ready for a little bit of a squeeze um, 18 19 is is the bingo number there what else not much else really so we got this uh, we're going to try and pick up cheap ones in euro we're watching these dollar swiss levels so we're watching this Aussie level I mean we could talk about euro Norway just like dollar cad tried to turn yesterday when gold was bid when oil was bid then oil was offered it's just not doing anything here um dollar cad turn it's going to be through 136 and and you know is dollar cad going to turn today why why the fuck would it um but tomorrow there's cad gdp so, so for those of you who who um you know have this canadian rash um Put some ointment on it today. Try and calm it down uh, and get ready. Get ready to rumble tomorrow uh, for CAD GDP. Anyway, today we're looking at Aussie 15 trading as we speak. Um, we're going to try and buy some cheap euros if we can. And we're looking at this dollar Swiss level. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.